Okay, my YouTube people, this is a video on how to figure out valve to valve clearance and valve to piston clearance. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. The next thing we're going to check is the Andrews cam that was installed on this Evo. And we're going to check to make sure that there's enough valve clearance at top dead center. And it's important that you do that. Now, one way you can check this is by putting clay on top of the pistons and then have the cam installed, but to use the clay, you have to have a solid lifter. So you put the solid lifter in, you adjust the push rods to zero lash, you rotate the motor, you pull the head back off, then you check the thickness of the clay with a veneer caliper. And the way you do it is you measure the thickness down here. You put this portion on the top of the piston, and then you put this portion where the spot, the valve hit in the clay, and you can measure the clearance that way. That's one way to do it. I would love to show you that, but I don't have a solid lifter to check it with, and you have to have a solid lifter. So if you are gonna do it that way, you just have to buy one solid lifter or somehow shim the lifter you have so it can't collapse. The other way to check it is with this truck tool, and it's made by Truck Cycles, part number VTC3, and it comes with two dial indicators. And you have to buy it specific for the head that you're working on. And this one's for an Evo. Now I'm going to grab one of my Evo heads and set this tool up on it and show you the measurements you need to check. Now John's down at John Cycles reassures me that with the bolt-in cam I'm using, I would have no issues whatsoever. He said the EV27 cam that I'm using has so much clearance that I don't even need to check it to the piston. I am going to check valve to valve clearance and valve to piston at top dead center clearance. So it gets bolted on like this, and you just want to turn the studs in until they stop. Then you want to take the nuts in, and you just want to snug them down, and you want to put the dials on. So now that you get it all set up and you have the gauges on, you have to take and dial the gauges so that they're both needles are on zero. Just want to lift it up and down a few times and make sure it comes back to zero every time. Like that, and same here, and it does. The specs for how far the valves are open at top dead center is on your cam card. And for this one, it's 0.182 on the intake and 0.166 on the exhaust at top dead center lift. So now you take and you turn that amount on each one of these gauges. We'll do the intake first. That's 0.182. One turn around is going to be 0.1. Now we'll keep going. Two. Here's 0.182 on that one. And this one's going to get 0.166. That's one. And that's 0.166. Now what you do is you turn the head over and you can see both valves are open and this clearance has to be at least 60 thousandths and you can clearly see that's at like a quarter inch and now you just take a filler gauge through there and that's a that's the distance right there and rather than add up all these filler gauges i'll take a veneer caliper and just check it and that's 0 0.110 or 112 tenth of an inch you only need to be 50 thousandths. I have over double what I need. So that distance is fine. Next thing I'm going to do is bolt the head to the motor and then have the piston at top dead center and have this open and make sure that there's enough clearance. And I'll show you how to do that. I know this doesn't make for great video. Uh, the engine's up high on my bench and the lights are close. I just take the tool down until it touches the top of the valve. Okay, I have the engine assembled with no gaskets. Now, it is important that I know my piston sticks five thousandths out of the hole. So I put two pieces of paper underneath the cylinder head where it mounts to the, to the jug. That'll give me that five thousandths clearance. And I think I'm going to have more than enough clearance to the top of the piston. So first we're going to do the exhaust. And the amount it opens at top dead center is 0.166. So I'm going to open the valve 0.166 to start with. It's a full turn around. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60 and six more. And there you go. I'm at 0.166 and now I need at least 60 thousandths clearance to the piston. So to check that, I'm just going to keep turning it. That's 170, 80, 90, that's at 2, 210, 220, 230, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3. Right there, I'm over an eighth of an inch clearance, or 0.134. So I have more than enough clearance on the exhaust. Then I'm going to do the intake. The intake is open to 0.182 at top dead center. So here we go. One revolution's 0.1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. There's 82. So now I'm going to go to the zero. It's 20 more. And then one full revolution. That's more than enough clearance, even though there's no gaskets in it. The gaskets are going to give me more clearance. So I'm going to stop there, knowing that I have more than enough clearance from my valves to my piston. So that's how you check valve to piston clearance. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments.